Hey guys, it's Max, and we're back with Battle Code 2016. In this episode, we're going to fix some of the problems we had last episode, where our robots were not staying together. I have two ideas to help them stay together. The first is to increase the broadcast range to 10,000, or about 100 blocks. The next change is I'm going to set the default ID to minus 1. And if our robot is the leader, I'm going to have him slow down. That way, the others will have a chance to catch up. Here is our utility method where we're moving forward. And I'll do something very simple here. I'll just only move once in a while. We'll get that integer value that references our ID like this distributing that chocolate, to use the analogy from several lectures ago. And then we're going to define a new integer called wait turns. If id is 0, then it's 6. Otherwise, it's 1. Then we'll check before doing any movement at all. We'll check to see if the wait turns is correct. rc.getRoundNum mod wait turns equals zero. This will only be true one every six turns for the robot that is the leader, but it'll be true all the time for all other robots. So we're only slowing down the leader. Okay, the last change that I'd like to make is decreasing the ahead location. Usually we're setting the goal of all robots to be the chief archon location uh, increased by four tiles. Let's change that to just two tiles. Okay, like this I think we can run. We're looking to see if our robots are sticking together better as a pack. Let's play Lecture Player 2 again on the map Get to Work. There are more intelligent ways to make the leader wait for his troops. For example, the troops could signal their locations, and the leader could then pick up on those locations and wait only if people are lagging behind. This is the simplest way that I can think of right now, though. And sure enough, our team is staying together a little bit better. A little bit better. These robots are still getting distracted. I think we can see which is the leader. I think it's this one. He's moving more slowly than the others. One modification we might try in the future is to say if any robots reach a certain distance from the pack, that they should stop what they're doing and go back and join the pack. We can add that in in the next episode. See you.